Hey guys, it's McSan here, and I'm excited for the upcoming Resident Evil 3 Remake. I enjoyed Resident Evil 2 Remake here, even though I have some issues with it in how, like, okay, you, I do the cannon route here, and with, as a Claire A, I do all this stuff, and when I go to Leon B, I have to do the exact same thing Claire did, even though since Leon is technically just a couple of minutes or so, uh, well, actually, an, like an hour or so behind Claire, that means everything Claire should have done in, should have already been, should have been set here. Like, she should have already found all the keys to open a secret passageway to lead to the underground chamber. Yeah, there are some issues here where some things just don't carry over. I would have figured in Resident Evil 2, things would carry over, but, you know, they, they, they don't. There, there's no, like, real connection here. Everything just reset to get to the same thing. It's, it kind of sucks. It kind of sucks in that apartment here, so it's a bit of a knock on the game here. I'm sure a lot of people have that same complaint, of course. But overall, I still like the game here. The, the RE engine works beautifully. Uh, they definitely could have made it longer, I think, here. Because I know they removed some segments here thanks to all the um, videos I've seen. Like Game of Thumbs timeline video and all that stuff. So, yeah. And I have played Resident Evil 7. I was really wanting to play that game first off with a, with a VR headset. But ugh, they're not making... They haven't even announced, like, Gen two of the v playstation vr so i just went ahead and play it got a let's play video on it loved it it was it really was scary i enjoyed it very much and i have and i do plan on playing all the other games i haven't played here like i have like zero the original re like revelations i haven't actually well i have tried to play resident evil 4 on the wii I had no idea what, what I was doing at the time, though, and back then I really didn't have any drive to play Resident Evil, as I do, like, like I do now, so I never play that game. So, in a way, my first RE game was 5, and I did enjoy 5. But now we have Resident Evil 3 here, and it's the Nemesis trailer. Where well, they're gonna show, well, we're gonna see the Nemesis, how the Nemesis looks like in the new RE engine. I have seen, like, how he looks like up res thanks to image of him from that non-canon uh, Operation Raccoon City game where I have actually I couldn't get past the first level because Couldn't really find anyone to play with and it was no fun of my own but for the, trailer, for the images I've seen Intimidating here and now we have this one here where people have been sort of criticizing how he looks like from the artwork. I'm gonna admit, I am very curious to see how he looks like here and just him, and hearing him say, stars. <laughs> Let's take a look. All right, just uh, making sure the sound. Come on. Wow, whoa, okay, whoa. Carlos, there's Carlos. What are you doing? Carlos, I'm seeing all right, this is different from how they met. Ooh, on fire and everything. Nice. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. But the uh, publicly this good side. Completely cut off, isolated. We need help. My men cannot do this alone. The town's crawling with those freaks. No chance of fighting oh, hunters! All right. Why is she here? Oh, they're liable. That's this asshole. This asshole. That asshole. I'll like. Hey, wait, wait, Joe. Makes sense. He's got the machine gun. Oh, oh the flamethrower! All right, he's coming with a flamethrower now. Huh? I'll be damned. All heavily armored tank and everything. Wow. All right. Oh, well, there's still more. Run him over. That's not gonna work, obviously, but we're gonna try. Jill, Jill, what happened? Come in. <laughs> Come on, say it. April 3rd. Really? 2 and 20. Okay, but. 
Didn't even say it. Come on. No, there's a little bit more. Also, include the online game rather than. Man, I mean, if, if that ain't canon, I don't care. Pre-order now. Get the classics. Yeah. Okay. All right, obviously we got this scene right here where we really get to see his face here. It's like, oh wow, the skin is, ugh. Hmm. Hmm. I think a lot of people, comp okay, a few differences Differences I can see. It's not a complaint, the difference from what I've seen of the, of the original. Like the eye here is a lot smaller. I can't even see the other eye. Ooh, but. Yeah, the, the, the stretched skin is obviously much more detailed and gruesome, and his mouth is much more bigger. It's like, holy shit. I gotta admit, this is, this is disconcerting. It's very disconcerting here. Oh, yeah. Wow. I, I like it. I do like it, though. And surprise, surprise here. I think uh, we see, of course, a... Uh... All right, seriously? Carlos, what are you doing? You're shooting at the legs? Shoot... Set set that gun to semi to semi auto and aim for the fucking heads. Really, a shotgun? How are you do? How, get in closer, aim for the fucking head and shoot him up. Okay, that's a, a big surprise here. Carlos versus a hunter. All right, nice. Then we got this bastard here who knows exactly how Umbrella operates here. Cause yeah, I, I know Carlos the. Uh, the bioterror umbrella's bioterror counterforce here. It's just, it's just for the public here to give them a good face here. Like, while they actually work to do the dirty deeds and shit. Okay, biggest surprise though. I'm pretty sure when everyone saw this here, when they saw that they got image of like the movie, like the where we see the nemesis in that movie here, and he had a massive Gatlin gun. Like, just mowing them down. I remember that part of the movie here. So I thought that too. It's clearly an homage to that movie here. But instead of a Gatling gun, it's a fucking ass armored flamethrower. I mean, did he have that in the game? I mean, I know he had a rocket launcher. He's got the tentacle there. Thanks. And that's, I believe that that was thanks to the parasite that's controlling him, making him follow directives. So yeah, I can already tell some differences here and there, like how she first met Carlos here. That's different from that's different from the game here because he met they ran into each other in a, in a, like a kitchen, a restaurant, something like that. Yeah, we got the organization here. We got the subway where there's much, a lot more survivors here. Yeah, so I gotta wonder how this exactly fits into the timeline of Resident Evil here, because I know that some events tend to, like, um, overlay or just replace other events here. Like, for example, uh, the Umbrella Chronicles game, where we fight that giant mutated, uh, final mutated form of Birkins in, that's in the train. Yeah, that happened, like, that happened in the game. It didn't happen in the original, like, uh, tank control PS1 game or something like that. That was added in for, like, the, during the whole rail shooter event. Rail shooter game. So, yeah, I gotta wonder how much of that overlaps here, because there's, there's no way this entire game here, the events of the entire game, will completely, uh, overlap. Will completely, like, replace the events of the original Resident Evil 3. So, yeah, I wa I'm wondering. And then, of course, there's Resident Evil uh, Resistance here, where... Does it fit in the canon at all? Does it fit in the canon at all? I'm a big guy. I'm a big proponent of canonicity here. I love learning these canon stuff here. I'm currently in a bit of a Resident Evil kick. So I like to know everything I can. I like to know all the like, everything in canon here, like what happened from A to B, what's the original story, what, and there's so much here. So I'm really hoping that this is a success. It's gonna be a success, obviously. And if so, well, I'm also hoping for a remake of Resident Evil 
outbreak. <sighs> so yeah, I I can't wait. I just I really hope this game is a bit longer than Resident Evil 2 remake here and it doesn't have many of the issues here. It's like I I really also hope I can they establish that hey, if you want to play the canon storyline here, then choose this setting right here or something like that. I, like I said, I like canon. I like to know the canon here. Uh, so I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful here. Natch, we saw a bit of gameplay, which I got to wonder who was controlling these guys here. I mean, I get, I get the demonstration, but come on. A especially uh, Jill here. You know you got to aim for the head. You survived the Spencer Mansion. So aim for the head with a shotgun. Get closer. Bang! Blow their heads off. Mm. Uh, so yeah, it, it looks great here. The RE engine looks incredible here. I can't wait. I can't wait to see just how the more mutated Nemesis will look like in this engine. Oh, that's gonna be gruesome right there. So everyone, thank you for watching. As always, comment about what you all thought. Like and subscribe for more videos. Till next one, this is Nakasan, logging out.